All right, so his name is Supernas. Right, so oh, wait, wait, okay. I, I can't sell it right now, but whoa, why is this? This is a weird color. It's like green. What is that? Oh, hello, Eddie Morphy. Welcome. Uh, yep, I'm playing a game soon. Um, let's see. Well, I got the name right though. That's the name I think. Oh wait, Super H Mitsunov. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait some time. Hello, uh, Fonza Curry, welcome. Actually, I got a VIP or something. Optimal. Play. Yep, I'm gonna do a, a game shortly, longer one. I didn't really prepare to him for him too much, but um, I'm pretty confident. I think I think I can do pretty well. Uh, I have some feel of how he's gonna play. Um, yeah, very interesting player for sure. I look at some interesting music on. Wait for him to be ready, I guess. Maybe I'll do some puzzle rush or something. Do you have complete repertoire for the tournament? Yeah, I think I do. Um, some little holes. Um, you know, like some. Uh, of course, Nimzo is very, very. There's a lot of stuff, right? Um, and so like, I guess my weakness weakness is probably like, if they play d4, knight of six. C4, E6, Knight of 3. I think that's kind of where I'm slightly weak, but I'd go for Rogozin, probably. But I think, like, what is it? It should be 4 is okay. There's other ideas. Let's see. Maybe I'll do a quick puzzle storm. Okay, this is check. Okay, there's this. There's this. Let's see. Uh, let's see, oh yeah. King takes there. Uh, 
uh, this one. Not my best puzzle storm, but it's good to warm up for sure. Uh, yeah. Oops. Oops. Not my best puzzle storm. Oh wait, maybe. Yeah. No, that was too too much. Hmm. We're not a piece of our way. No, nope, we got to take. Okay, not bad. I mean, I've done way better, but eh. you have to play. Oh, play versus Stockfish thirteen on leeches that find holes. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I think I'll try that. That's a good uh recommendation. I'll try that. Thank you, Stockfish. I'll write that down. Play Stockfish on leeches. Leeches. Yeah, it's definitely a good way to find holes. Cool. Yeah, I'll find holes in my repertoire. Sounds like a plan. All right. So, new monthly high score. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, I got this new extension. Uh, maybe I'll share it. This is really cool. Uh... There is a bunch of extensions you can get on Leeches that make it look really nice. Though, maybe it's my brightness. That could be it. I messed up with my brightness. Because uh, I was in the dark. i got to turn my brightness up. Maybe it, now it looks better. This looks, this looks pretty good. Alright, I guess I'll send him the challenge then. It, it's at uh, in two minutes. I guess we can just get it in. Super Nez Shmatinov. I always have trouble spelling that. Oh. Standard. 45 plus 20. I will play white. And I'll put on some nice music for focusing. Let's see. Um, what's a good music? Uh, let's see. I guess I'll put on something more relaxing, maybe. Hmm. Or just everything once. I mean, this guy's pretty good. This guy's pretty good. Oh, hello, Mellow Eagle. How's it going? Hello. Uh, I'll turn the music down. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm doing a 45 plus 20. I'm going to be ignoring chat in a little bit. Made some requests. I know it's about to curry. To look like that. Oh, so there's um some nice leeches extensions you can get, actually. Uh, I think it's on here. This is called... I forget what it's called, but I think it's called Pretty Leeches. Just... Chrome. It's, it's a Chrome one. Um... But yeah, I appreciate it stopping by. I'm actually going to be ignoring chat when this game starts, if that's all right. Um, you know, because I want to try to make sure it's, you know, serious following rules, no move suggestions, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, happy to share, happy to share. Yeah, I think it's called Pretty Leeches. I think that's what it's called. But, um, uh, maybe no requests right now. Maybe, I gotta, uh, maybe I'll keep it low-key. I'll try to keep it, I don't know. 
It's all right. Maybe maybe next time. I gotta keep predictable music kind of for this game. Uh, maybe I'll put I'll put on something cool better. Let's see. Put on this one. Oh, uh, sorry, Fonza. Next, uh, I'm gonna keep it with these for now, if that's all right. Just so I know I can predict. Yeah. And also because uh, I want to make sure, like, if there's unpredictable music, it sometimes might have, I don't know what effect it'll have, but it make sure it has a good effect. Alright, I guess the game is starting. I'm going to click switch tabs and close the chat. Alright, hi right, guys for now. Alright, I want to move. Alright, so I just want to move here. I'll put the coolest song in here. Move, merge the tabs back. Alright, so. Oh, I did play him before, interestingly enough. That's really cool. I didn't even know. When did I play against him? I guess it was like some... What is this? That's crazy. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. I remember that game. I gotta look at that after this. There goes Knight of 386. He's probably the play of some King's Indian or something. Let's see. In which case, to beat this King's Indian opening... Let's go B3 here. Keep it very a little bit offbeat. And um, it's actually a tempo up. I don't actually have to... Now e4 is actually a move here. I think e4 here. e5 is possible by me. Take, take, let's think about this. e5 takes, takes, there's knight there, queen to e2. I have ideas of just like h6 or something. This is gonna really mess him up, I think. Or even I could just play e6 too. I think this is really needed. I think this is very interesting. Oh, it goes knight d5, interesting. Well, in this case, I think I'll just keep trying to gain space. I probably should take on d6 at some point, so it takes d2 or something. I can even just keep things like the bishop e3. I really am wondering what the best way to go forward for this is. But then again, yeah, that pawn on e5 is going to be troublesome. See, actually, I should put this in Zen mode. Let's see, Zen mode. Oh, he goes there. Uh, just, hmm, he wants to attack that pawn. Uh could just play bishop e2 here. Um Uh... <clears throat> Does G3 work? G3... Knight c6. I think g3 does work here because this knight on d7 is blocking his position. In this case, yeah. Um, What else do I have here? Knight e4 makes some sense. 
He's going to attack the e5 pawn three times. I'm going to defend it with queen e2 if he goes knight c6. Um... I could play d d6 e6 here and then um let's see I'm going to close this discord notification close that. All right, so let's see. Um, oh yeah, there's a song. So, all right, but um,
I guess there's a bishop h3. I just play e6, f takes e6, knight g5. e6, f takes e6, knight g5, knight b6, bishop h3. And uh, he takes with a d4 pawn, bishop. D uh, knight takes on d4. I guess that's just unpleasant. Are you going to have to play d5 here? No. Can I play on d take on d6? Take on d6, take on d6. Then sacrifice the pawn. Take on d6, d6 take on d6. I guess I'll just play e6 here and figure it out. e6 there, knight g5. I'll just go for it. Yeah, I guess the bishop, mm, maybe it doesn't belong in g2 here. So he takes the pawn. So knight g5 is my follow up here. And if he plays knight f6, we can take on c5. Oh, he did. He played knight f6. So this is actually good for us now, I think. Just take on c5, and there's good compensation for the pawn. He might have queen d3. But um, in any case, these are doubled, so I mean. Oh, hmm. 
I should have calculated it. He doesn't have to recapture. But I think age six still is um, a little bit weakening for him because I just go back nine to f3 and then, yeah. Like age six does weaken his king side. And like his bishop is still going to be out of the game for a little bit. I think he didn't refute my sacrifice the way I thought. I thought knight b6 because that keeps the bishops contacted. Oh man. This position does not make any sense. I guess, oh, am I the music playing? Oh, I missed this.
possible because there's knight takes on g3, bishop takes on f8, knight takes on f1, bishop takes on h6, and uh, yeah. I think white's doing well in that line. And I, you know, this is kind of a little dangerous because also I have b4 coming maybe. It's e pawns under attack. It's these pawns defended for now indirectly with the bishop pinning, but you know, because this shit wasn't there, then rook d1 makes sense. I like my pawn structure like this. Uh, I, I kind of am realizing I'm not playing very well today, actually. That's no problem. I think the problem is I'm just not calculating. Or I guess I was just not calculating correctly. But that's not a problem. Uh, let's get Magicka. But I think I have achieved what I want. This is kind of some kind of non-conventional kind of position where his king's got some lots of white squares. So this should have higher than we see it on this guy with stuff now. I'm kind of glad we created some original position though. I think this is pretty original here. And so generally like G3 is played here, right? Yeah, I didn't like that. And this is okay. Okay, this is an X by move. My center was under fire. And um, this I didn't like. You shouldn't have played G5. Other than that, though, I think he played pretty well so far. Good punishment on my thing. I think the advantage is still... Okay, maybe it's like equal. Maybe Black is doing pretty well here. Because he's got active piece. He's got space. Right? If I flip the board... Yeah, I think I would be pretty comfortable here. Like, I'm gonna play Rook C8 next. Um, E5 is an idea. Four doesn't quite work here for black. There is queen d7 in, in the bishop h3 ideas, but the thing is that I don't think that helps black at all. So yeah, if I was him, I'd probably play rook c8 here. Alright, he plays queen d7. I'm not so sure about that. I guess he wants bishop f5? Is that his issue? Well, I think rook d1 now makes sense. Rook A one or pawn D4. Might put Bishop up there, but <clears throat> maybe just B4 here, just clear a space. 
base for my queen. So bishop f5 is just meant by like queen to uh, b3? I don't know. If bishop h3 hit, you can try that. Okay, what's your idea? You're gonna play bishop h3, bishop takes h3, king takes h3. And he has ideas of knight g5, g4, knight g4, I see. And he wants to play h2 mating, I see. Yeah, but the thing is, I can just take out the king. Like, you can play bishop h3, and then uh, bishop takes g2, king takes g2. That's the difference. Now the h3 score defended. Uh, c4 is. C5 is possible here, actually. C5 in that center pawn is gonna fall, actually. Where is C5? Let's see. The C5 looks strong here. Uh, C5. Bishop F5. No. Maybe just B4 here. Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop Bishop takes Bishop takes Bishop takes takes Bishop 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 takes a little bit unclear. And I have bishop to e5 at some point. I'm just play d4 here, it's scary for him. He's, he's probably not going to want to uh, play bishop f5. Right. Oh yeah, it was bishop f3. Bishop takes f3, yeah, this is an issue here. I think C4, or I don't know, yeah, C5 is kind of like that. Kind of. This is kind of like my center here. Oh, what's his idea? Is his idea to play E4, then I take C4. So like queen d5 and queen d2, that's a nice pivot, but um, e4 shouldn't work here. <sighs> yes, this is very interesting. This is definitely not one of his typical king's Indian positions he's going to have. It's kind of like almost a Nidorf or something, right? Some weird... Sicilian. He's also a dragon player. I quickly looked at him, like his, his openings, just briefly. That's kind of what inspired me to play with this because, you know, I think um, he doesn't face this too much. It's kind of a little off offbeat. So, uh, yeah. So let's think about this. So either b4 or c5, c4 is coming, b4 is knight goes somewhere, and then I could win a pawn, I think, like for example, knight d4, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, and if he goes down somewhere else, uh, he goes there, interesting. Well, rook c8 is very normal. Hmm. Yeah, I'll play uh, rook to d1, and my idea will be, um, he might play b5 here, but I can meet that with like c5 or something, but I think rook to here, maybe, and knight d4, bishop takes d4, might be some, oh, never mind. Uh, 
Well, I just have to like clean the three ideas too. Mm -hmm. Let me see five here. No. Mm. I guess B five here to force him to do something. B five. Knight to there. Hmm. I just don't like those knight ideas he has. C5 might be my only try here, maybe. C5? No. I want to keep that d6 pawn weak. Uh... Maybe just rook c1. He's he's kind of threatening b5 here. Oh, but no, he's not because, okay, well, let's see. Rook c1, b5, pawn takes b5. He goes knight to d4. Yeah, I don't have any checks. Yeah, maybe I can just go somewhere else. Hmm. Could just play rook f to d1, then he plays knight to d4. I have to take with the bishop, pawn takes, knight takes. And um, I'm not really so sure about how I feel about that position. Because rook a to d1 makes some sense. Do I need to defend f2? Probably a little bit. Knight to d4, bishop takes d4, pawn takes d4. Uh... Does 94 work? 94. Knight takes c4, queen takes c4. I don't know if 94 works. Ninety-four. Could just play queen d3. Queen d3, bishop f5, then what? Queen d3, bishop f5. Um, no. Hmm. See, I could just play, let him play e4, then I go knight to d4. No. Uh, let's see. This is a little confusing. Alright, I think I'm going to try another method. Let's think about this. Let's put my eyes in position. And just try it the other way. So let's get a bishop. King on g8. I have king on g1. Wait, king on g1, bishop on g2. Pawns there, there, there. Pawn on. So pawn on h3, h2, g3, f2. Pawn on c4, b4. And a3. Bishop on b2. Queen on c2. Knight on d2. Knight on f3. Bishop of g2, rook on f1, rook on f1. 
It's got a pawn on e7, pawn on d7, pawn on d6, pawn on e5, pawn on h6, pawn on g5. He's got a bishop on g7, a bishop on g4, a king on g8, and a rook in f8, a queen on d7, a dove on c6, a rook on c8. Okay, cool. Let's think about this position here. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, rook c1 is possible. He can't take the error. Um, knight d4 is okay. c5, pawn takes, knight to d4. Um, I have queen to uh, d3. He's bishop f5 ideas. Covering everything. Guess I can try Queen D three does not work. This is pretty annoying actually. Wow. Definitely underestimated that pin. Uh or not the pin, but um just this placement of pieces. Does rook e1 work? b5, pawn takes, knight to d4. He just forks. Does rook c1 work? b5, pawn takes, knight to d4. Queen to, yeah, he's, he's also threatening pawn e4. So queen to d3, bishop f5. Then I go queen e2. No, no, I can't go queen e2 because the knight on d4. I go queen e, yeah, I could try queen e3 to e1. Okay, so rook c1, knight d4. All right, rook c1, b5, uh, b5. Maybe just play, like, just ignore it. I can just ignore it. b5, I can ignore it. I think I just, I'll just go play rook c1. I think rook c1 is just a normal okay move. And I can ignore it. Like, I can play queen to b1. And a lot of my problems will be solved here, I think. <sighs> yeah, e4 would be an annoying push for him, just a little bit. So let's see, bishop f5, hopefully he'll play, then I'll think of something. I wonder what made him want to play this structure, though, because in general, I wouldn't want to play this. His bishop doesn't defend a or a d6 pawn. That's my first concern. I guess just out of the normal, though, there's no e pawn. That's the difference, too.
So Queen B1 is probably going to come at C5. I can play that. And I'll just try to grind him like in normal fashion. Hmm. Dynamic, he definitely has some good dynamics in this position. I probably should consider playing 94 next. Uh, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, knight to d4, bishop takes d4, pawn takes d4. Like that's the opposite color bishops. I'm going to take on f6, bishop f6, bishop d5 check or something. I think opposite color bishops are in white's favor actually. Just because. He's no targets. The pawns are dark. <clears throat> I guess I'll go for I mean, that's definitely an idea. Always since color bishops are good and exchanges are good. We probably should move that knight from my not brew that knight to e7 anyway. Like his knight on c6 is okayly placed, but it's not ideally placed. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess it's, I guess, like, the more I evaluate this, it's kind of better to play bishop takes on d4. It's not a real, real big problem here, like, given that situation. See, so he'll take on b5. Let's see, b5, a b, uh, pawn takes b5, knight to d4. 
Yeah, that doesn't work. So B5, I ignore it. All right. That's my conclusion. And yeah, just knight takes on c4, and it's just slightly better for um, white. Oh, he plays there. Uh, I actually think b5 is possible here. I mean, just queen b3. Is e4 a threat, though? e4, no. Do I want to just play queen b3 here? Uh, let's see, b5, knight e7, rook d1 is an idea, b5, well, I think just b5 is also, b5 is possible here. And just knight e4. Knight takes, queen takes. Uh, yeah, I think this is committal. Commits into something. Let's just go for it. Hmm. Ninety seven could be played. Not sure. I want to play ninety four, maybe, though. 97, 94, he plays pawn d5. I can take on f6, bishop takes on f6. I take on f6. Oh, no, if he plays pawn d5, I just take the pawn on e5, yeah. That's just good. That's why I play this. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I think 94 makes sense. Exchange, try to get a clamp on the light squares. If he goes bishop f5, just queen e2. And I think, yeah, white is OK here. Or maybe bishop f5, queen e1? No. I think the knight belong or the queen belongs on the d file, though, at some point. Or something belongs on the d file. I don't know what. I wonder if he can sacrifice, he will sacrifice a pawn here. Like, I don't, it does, it definitely doesn't work. I looked at this kind of briefly. Definitely, I mean, it would activate his bishop, but I don't know about that. Definitely doesn't work 100% here. Uh, let's put Norwegian Pirate on. Night there. 
Uh, let's go that way, I see. Yeah, and then Queen E3, because he doesn't have that nice E4 idea. Yeah, and everything should be kind of okay here. And if he tries Queen takes a B5, I have Knight takes an F6, and a medium move, and then pop it Queen 5 that's good. Yeah, this is pretty good. I can consider... I don't know. If he plays 96, it does get in the way of his bishop, though. So he can play bishop on 5. Oh, if he plays 96, I take an f6 and then play h3. I guess okay, he has... Worst case scenario, I always have bishop to c4, and that's not too bad. Wonder if I have ideas of knight takes on g5 too. Probably not. No. Wonder if I could play knight takes on e4 next. Actually, wait, knight takes on e5. So like 96, knight takes on e5, pawn takes e5. No, he just says. Knight to d4 next. Never mind. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like he's trying to play two with, like, I don't know, he's playing really weird though. Like these dark star pawns. This is just a different way of thinking about the game, I'm not sure.
but I think like the issue is yeah I have good light square control in general kind of I don't know <laughs> I think I want to play like knight f to eat d2 if I have time and then yeah knight f d2 and then my position is decent I guess like he can get a knight to d4 if he wishes, but uh, or actually maybe even knight e1 is an idea. Knight e1 to d3 after I take on d4, that's really nice. I'm kind of glad his time is ticking a lot. Yeah, the problem with 94 is it does clear this F file for him. He's probably trying to think of something for this. But, um... Let's see. H3 might work here, actually. H3, bishop takes on F3. Uh, bishop takes on f3, knight to there, then bishop takes there, pawn takes there, knight takes on f6, bishop, something takes on f6, bishop d5 check, and I'm okay. I wonder, let's see, let's think about this though. H3, knight takes on e4, queen takes on e4. Bishop f5. Uh, and queen to d5. Let's just go for this, this looks interesting. And like, okay, he gets this knight going to d4 or wherever he wants it. I don't care. Uh, maybe knight c5 is more practical for him. But um, I think still my position is pretty good. And he might compromise these light squares pretty soon. So like probably you should play well if he plays bishop f5 knight takes f6 rook takes f6 and then just queen d2 shuffling back threatening knight takes on e5 i think that's pretty good yeah very interesting critical moment for him. And if he plays bishop h5, well, I have g4 ideas if I want. Maybe bishop h5, I take on f6 and play g4 maybe. Then he's got to go like bishop f7 or something. 
And then it's like bishops versus knights almost or something. I don't know. It's got that knight going to d4, c5, by the way. So then again, I don't want to play g5. g5. I don't know if I want to play that move. Maybe this is kind of like a slight error on my end, but slight, very slight, not a huge problem. He actually probably can't take though. Like, or maybe this is just kind of, yeah, this is kind of toying with him. But yeah, the problem is this knight is going to be really strong in f4. So he's got to be careful. Um, if he takes on e4, maybe I'll take with the g pawn. And he goes back. Hmm. Again, I'm still not sure about that position. Hmm. Time's ticking for him. He's got 13 minutes. See, maybe I can consider playing pawn h4 next to pawn h4, forcing like g4 or something. You know, if I can get that position, that's pretty good too, I think. h4, g4. I don't know. Yeah, this move actually does. Make him think. I'm glad about that. Uh, his best idea is probably knight takes an e4, queen takes an e4, and bishop f5, and then like queen e3. three and yeah decent for both sides I don't know <clears throat> it's interesting how I'm actually the more positional player in this game which really really happens then again I like this guy's very interesting style of play I wonder if I can't allow like um mm, probably not I don't know like play g4 is such a radical idea it's just asking for knight of four to be played <sighs> my idea, but yeah if I can I would take try to win of those center pawns he has but I just can't. Oh, I did miss knight c5. Uh, knight takes there, knight takes there, knight c5. Oh, but I just take g4 with the queen. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that's good. What? Okay, thank you. See ya. 
Close the door, please. Show me. Okay. So yeah, I think queen takes here has to be played. And like, I think queen d5 actually could be an idea too next. Queen d5 is kind of annoying for him. Oh wait, e4 next for him. E4. Wait, queen d5, e4, I have knight to d4. Or bishop takes on g7. Let's see. Let's calculate. Bishop takes on g7. Uh, pawn takes on f3, bishop takes on f8, pawn takes on g2, well, yeah, but then again, af then after, then I play like rookie 1, he can play, oh no, I can't play rookie 1, but I think queen d5 is interesting, and then he could play rook c5. Then I go like queen to e two d two. I think queen d five is very interesting here though. Let's force rook c five. Mm, or maybe I did kind of miscalculate this, but oh, I I think oh yeah, uh, e four I have knight to e five. Yeah, that's that's annoying for him. Knight to e five. Okay, so let's go down. I think down here is fine. So now I'm hitting that. Uh, yeah, I'm hitting e5. I'm not sure if that's a threat. It's not a threat. Um, very interesting. Maybe I'll play knight h2 next. And consider that. And yeah, if he does any of that pawn takes on d4, I have uh, g4. I wonder if I play knight f4 here, actually. Knight f4, that's a sacrifice. Knight f4, pawn takes f4, bishop takes on h3, bishop takes on h3, queen takes on h3. That is a sacrifice. I should have calculated knight f4 here. Bishop takes h3, I guess I go knight h2. Bishop takes g2, king takes g2. And I guess like I'm not losing immediately. I think that's pl playable for sure. I pawn h4 though, that would stop that threat, I think. Pawn h4, g4, then I have like 91 or something. He's getting lower in time, that's a plus, I think. I have ideas of even bishop takes e5, bishop takes e5, knight takes rook c5. Okay, that's not winning. Uh, yeah. Pawn h4, 
24. I think I just play knight to g1, maybe? Or knight h2 to g4. Probably knight h2. Knight g4 is a nice sacrifice. I had to get that out of there. And like bishop d5 ideas. I think that's pretty good. I don't know. I'm glad he's getting lower on time though, which means we're reaching the danger zone. The danger zone meaning I flag him, maybe? I wonder if he'll try rook c8, then I have like, yeah, rook c8. If, he, if I can force his rook f8 to rook to c8, that's actually really nice because it's kind of like distracting him from the important side of the board. So I think his f file is actually very dangerous. If I can trick him to go the other way, that's a huge plus on my end. Oh, I see. Five minutes. Guess my question. Yeah, knight h2 has to be played. That's probably the most logical square. And if I get that bishop, like even give giving up a pawn, that's actually better for white. No opinion. And also his knight on e6 wouldn't have any good prospects anymore. And also the e4 pawn would be hanging. Could try d5 here for him, but that uh, blunders a pawn with knight takes. Also, it's pinned. Never mind. Uh, yeah. The danger zone, though. Four minutes. This is how I win games. I blitz them sometimes. At least that's how most, like most of my games, I'm usually ahead on time. That's always the advantage having the time on my side. His calculation is getting worser. He's probably really calculating that sacrifice, and I think I'm ready for that because I just play knight h2. Knight f4, gf4, bishop h3, knight h2. Bishop g2, king g2. Uh, he's going to take back, and I have f3. Pawn f3. And like, okay, uh, maybe can try e4. Then I just take on g7, okay. But no, he goes this way, okay, good. I think knight h2 is interesting. Wait, but maybe knight e1. Maybe knight e1 to go to, uh, to, uh, knight e1 to go to, um, e3 is possible here. Maybe knight e1 here, actually. I'm not sure. Let's think about this. Knight h2 actually doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but then again, should I be thinking about knight h2 to g4? Let's think about this. Knight h2, bishop takes, queen takes. Uh, he can try. I don't know what he would try, but. Um... Yeah, the problem with knight c2, though, is it blocks this pawn. I guess I could sacrifice this pawn. Hmm. I could just play knight to d4, too. But that actually loses pawn on h2, but then I can take on... No. Let's think about this. 
91. Takes, takes. Queen g7. Takes. Queen g7. Yeah, that's actually annoying. So maybe knight h2 takes, takes. Queen g7. Queen takes g7. That takes g7. Rook to there. Rook there. Knight g4. Yeah, I think knight h. I'll just go knight h2. I think knight h2 makes sense. I'll just give up. Uh, yeah, stuff for stuff, and yeah. And this is kind of quicker. Like knight e1, knight c2, knight e3 is okay, but knight g4 to e3 is okay too. This queen will waste some time. And d6 is hanging, so this is a nice tactical solution, I think. Uh, yeah. Very nice tactical solution, in my opinion. We could try h5. What about I playing h4? Not sure. Well, h5, g4. Takes, takes. I don't know about that one. Yeah, h5 is definitely a move here. Should be okay though. Like rook e1, just counter pressure that pawn, and I should be okay. Yeah, just rookie one. This is great. He's getting lower on time too, so yeah, if he gets lower on time, my chances of winning exponentially increase. He goes there. All right. Um I could just take, take, and take. If I want to. It's complicated. Knight g4 needs to be played though. Let's just go knight g4 here, I think, and yeah. This is kind of uh giving up some stuff, but I think it's as important to do. And okay. So I did this before you had h5. So let's see if he's going to use some time here. Hmm. Let's pre move this. So now I think I can take here on g7. And the point is now this is hanging and this is going to be hanging if he takes with a queen. Takes the knight. All right, I'm going to take this. And I'm threatening the e4 pawn. And also I have ideas of maybe there's that check. Uh, but yeah, takes, takes, queen takes a5 is, yeah, this is okay, I guess. Or even queen e6 check and then queen takes b7. Yeah, that's that's actually really nice. So rook takes, rook takes, queen e6, queen d5 check, queen e6, queen takes on b7. That's actually pretty strong. 
because that b-pawn could be going through and his knight's out of the mood his, his knight is misplaced here and yeah the e4 pawn is under fire his position is pretty good so let's go for this so queen e6 check or queen here then queen takes on e7 and i think this is pretty strong now This B pawn should be pretty good. I have pressure on the other pawns. And yeah. And I guess rook D one's next or E six. My king is slightly safer, but it's the thing is my bishop isn't active. Slightly safer, but it's not active. Hmm. Yeah, so he plays this move. I'm not so sure about that. Um, let's see. I have b6 at least. Just play b6, I guess. And the thing is, if he goes d4, I have bishop takes there. So let's see. Also, I have ideas of queen to a check and b7. That's just winning. I think I'm winning this, yeah. He he definitely um so let's see. I don't have queen to a8 check, I have queen to b8 check. Uh let's see. How do I get this guy? Uh, queen to b check doesn't work. Well, I have queen takes here, rook takes there, rook to b1. Uh, he goes rook to c8. And then... Bishop f1. Maybe knight to there. Bishop to a6. Maybe, I'm not sure. Let's calculate this. Let's see, queen to b8 check, queen to c8. Uh, queen to b8, queen to c8. Let's see, queen b8, queen c8. Uh, let's think about it. So I have 20 whole minutes to think about this. 20 minutes. Let's see. So I wanted to play queen a7. And what's the problem with queen a7? You can try there, there, queen a7. And the idea is if I play b7, he's screwed. So queen b8. What about knight there? Well, if he has knight there, then I still have b7 ideas. I guess queen b8, because also, let's see, what's the problem? If I take, is taking winning also? Uh, that's my other question. Takes, takes, rook b1. I guess gives him some counterplay, because these pawns in the center, a little bit. Takes, takes, rook b1, rook c8. Uh, rook c8. If I go b7, rook b8, bishop f1. 
he has ideas of uh, knight e6, bishop a6, knight d8. And I guess that's kind of winning. Takes, takes, rook b8, or rook b1, rook c8, b7, rook b8, bishop f1. He could try d4, but then I take. So knight e6, bishop f1, d4, bishop a6, d3. Yeah, that's. I think that's less clear than just queen b8 check. Queen there, then queen a7. And I'm going to play b7 next. I think this is pretty clear here. And you can't play like rook b4, which is pretty normal here. Also, like you can try like what is it? There is also queen c8, queen d6. Queen there, queen d8, check. Well, queen d6 runs into rook c6. Oh, but then there's uh, queen d5 there. So, see queen here. Mm, he could try knight there, but then just queen takes on d5. Uh, let's see, let's see. I kind of really want him to take on g4 too. That's really nice if it gets that. Uh, B7's next. So queen d6. He could try queen b7 though, but then I did. Oh no, yeah, he has queen b7. So but my original calculation was queen a7 actually. I don't see a good refutation for that. Queen a7, what's he going to do? Knight d6, b7. I have threats of b7 is a threat. That's always a threat. That's the problem. And um, and if he goes queen c5, I have queen a8 and b7. I think this is very simple. Yeah. The problem is, is again, his uh, rook can't go to b4. That's pretty much the whole point of this. And it's yeah, we're just going to play the check, and he's in trouble. What's he going to do? So this is a good game. Glad I didn't give him his attack. His concepts, his concept was really nice though. This Nezhmetinov style of play with these like dark squares, I couldn't exploit it. It was kind of an original game. I did play a little careless in the opening, but I was also kind of trying to play more creative chess, trying to get something interesting. Good game, good game, well played. Yeah, so I guess let's go back to the drawing board, um, look at the game. Uh, so study, let's add this to uh, my 5-4 week of just classical games. Uh, I'll get the chat back up, guys. Uh, one second, one second. File, open, docs, chat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, the game. Let's see, I don't see any chat right now, but that's no issue. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I guess I check my work, my work thing, because I'm playing during work hours. Or my phone. Good, no notifications. Good. <laughs> um, so anyway, back to this. Uh, so nine of three d six. Uh, and so I'll just show you guys a reference. Like this is a very normal variation here. I don't like it though. This is actually one of the reasons why I stopped playing this, uh, this opening. Like. I think what is they go knight d7 bishop here b5 takes knight g4 and I don't like this at all. I guess this is okay. Like maybe c4 is played here. I am not sure, but in any case, I'm not just a, yeah. I guess c4 is played, and I guess I just didn't like this. I guess this is just better for white. And e takes f3, right? Oh, I like e takes, but bishop takes is fine. But yeah, I think I think I played e takes before in a game too, but. Yeah, I guess this is playable, but I, you know, I wanted to try something more interesting in the moment, and I thought e4 here was cool. Oh wow, this is a main move. 
and um, okay, e5. I guess I played very crazy here. This is pretty unique now. We're out of a book. Um, yeah, I think I should have taken on here probably. This is too much. Then just play bishop e2, or no, c4, then just bishop e2. And I think uh, I'd be okay. Like, Or no, I take here, he takes here. Uh, okay, this is actually not good, never mind. Um, I have to play h3 first. And then I just take here, he takes here, bishop e2. And I guess this is just kind of equal. This is probably my best way of playing, though. Just had to play like this. So I know I was definitely under pressure in this opening here. C5, yeah, I felt like I was lost, kind of, almost. I overextended here, and I had to go for this. And I think he would have had no issues if he went for this. And then, like, I guess I can't really do anything here. What am I going to do? Like, bishop here? I have no idea. Bishop takes d4 is strong. And I think white's lost? I don't know. But I think knight b6 is the most challenging move, and I guess I was just going to think about this. Like, uh, I think, oh yeah, I was gonna, I was planning on this. I was planning on knight f3 here, and, you know, h6 and just knight back, and this is still not so good for white. Like, for example, that should be playable, I think. And this is just dominating, in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have played like this. In this opening but I think luckily um g5 I think was wrong because now I got back the pawn and I have I'm just a little bit behind it's not absolutely terrible I castled and um now what was some moves I was thinking about here this is actually not an easy position still like I'm still like I think white's black is still a little bit better here um this isn't just not easy um yeah, what am I gonna do here? Rook c one's playable, b four is playable, c five is something I thought about a little bit. Maybe rook e one and c five is the better way to go. I just was afraid of maybe I was afraid of like taking nf three and just knight g four with this. That's what I was kind of afraid of. But uh, this this probably was the best way. I shouldn't have been like rook e one probably was was more accurate. It's just protecting against e4 and I kind of thought about this in the moment but I didn't go for it because I was just afraid of like doing some kind of threats or something um I just kind of want to get the queen out of the way I guess it was just all still the mood during the game like in the game I was just kind of a little bit out of it but then I got better like um yeah 94 here I thought this is very crazy I kind of like black's position actually here um I don't know why I provoked the rook there, but I thought it looked cool. E4 here. All right, wait. I think there was a point where he should have won the game like this. No. Uh, maybe it was. I thought there was the sacrifice I saw. Where's the sacrifice I, I calculated? He had a sacrifice where he takes on h3 and stuff. Knight, G, knight, knight f4 here. He has knight f4 somewhere. Did I play, I played h3. Where was the variation I calculated where he had knight, knight uh, f4? Oh yeah, I think this was pretty good here. Knight f4, g f4, this is something I calculated. And I think I was planning knight h2, this, and I guess this is kind of dangerous for me. Just kind of dangerous, but I think I was going to go for this. This is my uh, sacrifice here I was looking at. And uh, yeah, I think he had good chances here. This is pretty good for, uh, pretty good for um, my opponent here. So yeah, just knight f4, and it's it's very unclear, but interesting compensation. e4, you know, here I was kind of willing to give back a pawn or two, because I realized, you know, my position kind of sucks. But luckily, you know, I had this b pawn, and yeah, it's just a, it's a winning game from there. 
Oh, man. My opponent is an amazing player. Uh, I hope he takes this game as a lesson or something. Um, like, you know, I really enjoyed his style of play. I really, really enjoyed it. I think he's a great opponent. Um, style of play is pretty nice. Uh, I think the only takeaway is I need, I think he should he should have attacked. That's the only thing. Like, he should have tried to play on the king side. He should have played knight of four. He should have kept the rooks on the uh, f file. I think the f file is where his advantages are. Uh, and that's an important lesson in general in chess. You gotta play, I think, for... So knight of four, though, is, this is probably winning, and I was lost here. Probably. Or not lost, but I was just afraid of this. I was calculating this. But yeah, I guess. And also the alternative is, uh, what is it? For example, I can't take on h3 because, well, I guess I can't take on h3, but it's not good. But yeah, knight h2 is kind of forced here. Oh yeah, because this knight's gonna hang too. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Let's see, what else? Um... Yeah, he, he outplayed me in the opening. I just kind of got lucky a little bit in getting out of this opening and getting into the endgame. I think in the endgame, that's kind of where I got kind of lucky. Like, I saw queen takes b7. That's the thing. I was trying to trick him, right? Like, I think he should have taken... Maybe g4 is the more critical pawn. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, still, this is... Um, this could lead to the same thing with this. this. Okay, so I guess this king is just weaker, and so my intuition told me to go for this. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, there's not much to be said. I think it was a good game. I think he played really well. He definitely challenged my thinking. And uh, yeah, it was an amazing game uh, from both sides, I think. It's a good game. He, he tried very hard, too. I like these pawns. Very ambitious player. All right, well, anyway, thanks for watching. I wish you all good luck with your chess, and uh, bye for now.